this could be a clear indication in, in our literature that Islam is an ancient religion. Hi guys, you're welcome back. Thanks for clicking. Jewish Rabbi admits Islam is the oldest religion. So when talking about a, a common uh, heritage, uh, in our Jewish literature, we are taught that there is such a thing as a common faith, a fundamental religion which all men are born into. And this is a basic faith which is obligated on all mankind. In the past, we've called it by different names, the uh, Yerei Shemaim, which means the fear of he the people who have fear of heaven, Gertoshav, or Bnei Noach, the children of uh, Noah, or during Hellenist times in Greek it was called Theos Hebea. Uh, and according to the school of thought of Rabbi Ben Mosig, uh, this fundamental faith is also called by the name Islam. Mm. Some have suggested that this refers to the great number of non-Jewish mm. believers who came to sacrifice the Qurban Shlamim in Jerusalem together with the Jews. Salamai, Muslimai, Muslimi. This could be a clear indication in, in our literature that Islam is an ancient religion dating back to the time of the Second Temple mm. or, uh, or even earlier. And if Islam's roots, if the roots of Islam are the same as what we call Bnei Noach, mm. then for us it is much older. This is the religion of Noah. This is the religion of Adam himself. The, the closeness of, of Islam and Judaism has always been understood by biblical scholars Un until recent years, the close l relationship with the Jews, the, the Ten Lost Tribes, uh, the, the Arabs, the Rechabites, all this was assumed to be true. It was only with the advent of German revisionists like Wellhausen and Buchler and others who, that this began to change. They introduced ideas that Islam had something to do with worshipping the moon, rocks, or some asteroid that fell. But devout, jo devout Jews know that this is not true. It's a fact of Jewish law that we believe that Muslims and Muslims are perfect monotheists. They worship the same God that we do. Wow. Teshuva for Jews requires not only repentance on the part of the individual, but on the part of the nation of Israel as a whole. Part of cleaning up our house, the great house of Israel, entails looking beyond our religion as it develop, or more like deteriorated in Galut, the exile, to Torah Moshe, our actual covenant with Hashem. And that requires looking honestly at what truly obligates us versus the customs of dubious origin that we've accumulated along the way. When one actually reads the verses of the written Torah and studies the authentic primary sources of the oral law, particularly their presentation in Mishneh Torah, of Rav Moshe ben Maimon, the Rambam, Maimonides. We come to understand what it means to do Teshuvah as a people. It means dedicating ourselves to Torah study in order to actually fulfill what is written, the authentic halacha. It is high time we accept the role of Rambam's Mishnah Torah as the source par excellence to fulfilling the will of our Creator, our Father, our King, His unfathomable oneness. I don't think, are they Christians?
Wow, guys, I don't understand. The Christian praying part is confusing. Christians don't pray in this way that they will be bowing down. I don't think maybe it's the, even though in the olden days I don't think it's like that. I'm just kind of confused with this particular scene that is shown in the video because that cannot be a church, a living church, a Christian church for that matter. But that was a beautiful one from the Jewish rabbi talking about why the Islam is one of the oldest religion and why Jewish Christianity, Jew Christianity and Islam serve only one God. Amazing, beautiful. I really enjoyed your conversation. Beautiful one. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.